In this video, I'm going to go over how to use Certificate with all three Opto22 node packages. This is especially useful when you want to access your Groove data from a Node-RED server that's not just running locally on the device. To demonstrate this, I'll be using a Groove Rio that has a self-signed certificate and a Groove Epic that has a certificate signed by a certificate authority. And in the end, we will be taking care of this unable to verify leaf signature error that I'm getting from Node-RED running on my Windows PC. But first, before we look at the Windows PC, let's get our Rio data into Node-RED running on the Groove Epic. Let's get started on that. So the first thing I'm going to do is log into Node-RED on my Epic. Once I'm in there, you can see that I already have a node set up. It's a Groove IO node that is pointing to uh, my Groove Rio. If I were to come up here and redeploy the flow, you can see we do have a security certificate problem. Specifically, uh, there is a problem with the SSL public certificate for the target device. This may not be installed in this device, so we need to be able to install it somewhere on the Epic. So let's have a look at where to do that. I'll open a new tab and go to Groove Manage for my Epic. And if we come under Security, we can see that we have a Certificate Trust Store right here. If I select that, you can see that there are no certificates installed whatsoever. So this is where we're going to need to put that uh, Rio self-signed cert. So let's go and get that next. I'll come over here to my Groove Rio. We'll log in here as well. And again, we'll be coming into the Security menu. But this time, we're going to be looking at the Web Server Certificate. Now, this one is a self-signed certificate, so you can see the issuer is Rio Dev, this device, and the subject is the same as the issuer, hence self-signed. So what I need to do is come down here and download this public certificate. Now, I'm going to give it a name, something uh, that helps me keep track of what it is. So I'll put in the host name, Rio Dev, and I'm going to put underscore pub, uh, and it is a .pem file, uh, because it is the public certificate, so that'll just help me keep track. So there we go with that saved. Now let's upload that to the Groove Epic Trust Store. I'll just select add slash update. There we go. I'll select that PEM certificate and open it. We'll see that it's uploading and importing the client certificate where the Epic is the client and the Rio is the server. Uh, and then once that's complete, uh, depending on which uh, service you're using, you may need to restart that service before it picks up on the new certificate. But we're good to go. Let's just head back over to Node-RED and we'll tell this node where that certificate is. So I'll come in here and edit this device. You can see that I have my address and my API key. So we just need to give the path to the self-signed certificate. Now, in the case of Groove Epic and Rio, the default path is already pointing towards this trust store that we have. So all I need to do is put in the name of the certificate. And again, that's Rio dev underscore pub .pem. So now that I've pointed to that file, I'll go ahead and select update and done. We'll clear up this debug pane and go ahead and select deploy. We can see that error has gone away. We're now scanning. I've gotten the value false. And if I toggle this top button on the one that we're reading, we'll see it switches to true and again to false. So we've got this connection working nice and clean with the self-signed certificate bringing Rio data into the Groove Epic. And of course, this works with writes as well. So with that uh, part of it taken care of, let's now get both devices data over here into Node-RED running on my Windows PC. Now, here I just have it installed on localhost on my PC, but this could be a Node-RED server running anywhere. It could be on-premise, it could be in the cloud, it could be on a Raspberry Pi or wherever, wherever else you need to have it. So let's go ahead and get this set up, starting with that same Rio dev, uh, but this time getting it into the Windows instance. I'll again select the pencil icon, and here we don't have just a, a, a trust store file location set up. There is a trust store in Windows, but that's not what we're using here. Instead, I'll come over to my downloads, and you can see if I refresh this really quick, we want to path it to this particular certificate file that is in my downloads. So I'll just copy that, we'll jump back, and we're going to put in the full path to the file location. So if, for example, on Epic, you were to put it somewhere other than the Trust Store, you would need to path out all the way to that file, just like I am here on Windows. So we'll put in that host name, Rio Dev underscore pub dot PEM. 
Go ahead and select Update, Done, and Deploy. Let's go ahead and clear up this debug pane. You can see that we're now scanning that Rio, and it works here just as easily. We'll toggle it off. Oh, we need to enable that debug. We'll toggle it on. There we go. We see it turn false and back on again and false. So there we go. Really easy to work with the self-signed certificates. So now let's switch gears and look at the CA signed certificate for the Groove Epic. So here I'll double click this Groove IO node. We'll select the pencil icon and we're going to need to put the CA certificate right here. So if we come back to my downloads and I come up to the top here and I put in a search term opto 22 CA, you can see that I do have the certificate authority certificate, the client certificate here in my downloads. So let's try that first. We'll go ahead and drop that in. We'll select update, done, clear up the debug and deploy. But you can see we're still getting this unable to verify leaf signature error. And the reason for that is I just dropped in the client certificate as I downloaded it. And in my case, it downloaded as a .cer file. But these nodes are very insistent that it is a .pem format certificate file. So we'll need to convert this. It's not enough to just change the, uh, the file type here in, in the file name at the end. We actually do need to convert it. So to do that, I'm going to be using OpenSSL. And this is a very easy tool to download and use to do some uh, basic SSL uh, operations. So if I type in OpenSSL version, we'll see that I do have it installed on this computer, and now I can use it to do that conversion. So I'll be using OpenSSL. We're working with X509 certificates, and I need to specify the format of my input file, so my input format or inform. So that's going to be DER, and that covers .DER, .CER, and .CRT file formats. Then we need to specify the file that we're inputting. In this case, it's over there in that downloads, and it's that opto22 space ca.cer. Because it has that space in there, I will be using quotes. And we need to specify the output file. So we'll again type that out here. But instead of opto22 ca.cer, we'll call opto22 ca pem, pem.pem, just so that we can keep track of what's what. You can name it whatever you want. So now we'll create this new file. I'll go ahead and select enter. We get no errors or anything back. So let's open up that file again. And we can see, there we go. There's my opto22ca in pem format. And it does have that .pem file extension. So now let's switch over and get our Groove.io node to use that certificate instead. So it's going to be opto22 opto capem.pem. We'll uh, be using this for the other nodes as well. And we'll go ahead and select update and done. And so now we've done the Groove IO nodes, we also need to do the same for Groove View and Pack Control. And to make this a little bit easier, I'm just going to edit the config nodes directly rather than go through and click these. So we'll come up to the gear icon in the top right. We can see we've done both our Groove IO devices. So let's uh, change this Groove project for Epic Dev. We'll paste in that same file location, leaving our API key and Groove address the same, and do the same for our Pack device nodes. So we'll update that as well, switch, bug, switch back to debug, and we'll deploy. So we'll see now that all of our errors have disappeared under the nodes, and we don't have anything scary in the debug pane anymore. So just moving down the list, we still have our Rio scanning. Now we have the Groove Epic scanning as well. So if I toggle this off, we get true, then false, then true again, and false once more. So uh, there we go, the Groove IO nodes are working. And also we do have the Groove View nodes working as well. So if I bring open my Groove View here, we can see that I have a basic page here with just an integer, so we should be getting the number seven. So we'll inject and get that Groove View value. We do get seven. Let's change that to something else. So we'll just flip it over to three. Now when I inject again, there we go, we get the number three. So Groove View is working. Finally, let's check Pack Control. Now here in Pack Control, I do have a float table that is full of just random numbers. So I'm going to be reading that in from my strategy variables uh, to demonstrate this. So now when I inject, it'll go and get those strategy values. You can see we've got some random numbers here. And when I inject again, we've got different random numbers. So we've got this nice communication working across all the Groove nodes. 
Now, if you have any questions about any of this, we'll have lots of links in the description below, and we'll also have our forums at forums.opto22.com, but this essentially covers the basics of how to use certificates on your Groove devices to access your data no matter where your Node-RED server is running. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, thanks for watching.